Good morning, everybody. And as soon as Michelle tells me what day it is, I shall let you know. Today. Wednesday. Good Wednesday morning, everybody. <laughs> I forgot what day it was. Yeah, oh, I think that's due to the strange sleep I've had the last couple of days. Apologies for sneaking off to bed at a really weird time yesterday, but was watching The Emperor's New Groove, and I don't think I saw more than 10 minutes of it, and I just fell asleep, and I kept waking up, fell asleep, and then Michelle then told me I had better get to bed. And you know what? She was right. As soon as I went to bed, I woke up. She do. So I watched a bit, then Michelle came to bed, and I fell asleep, and I woke up at 4 o'clock this morning. And I struggled getting back to sleep. I managed, I think, get a little bit of sleep between five and six o'clock. Oh, that was my night. Morning. Morning. How are you? Good, you? Did you sleep better than I did? I did. I woke up briefly at half past two, looked at the time, saw it was half past two, rolled over and went back to sleep. So, well, good. When I got up, uh, you was, you'd thrown all the covers off when I was, I got, I got up to go at four o'clock. I got up and I went to the toilet, that's when I couldn't get back to sleep. And you'd thrown all the covers all over and I thought, oh great. And I went to the toilet and I came back and you, in that brief period, you managed to clamp all the covers down <laughs> and I couldn't get them off you. And it was froze. Anyway, shall we watch a bit of news and... Watch a bit of news, that was our toils last, <laughs> last night. Well, my toils. So, unfortunately, we didn't even give you a review of Emperor's New Groove, but Michelle watched it. I did. So, what was your what was your take on Emperor's New Groove? It was okay. Okay, so, out of your... It was okay. Okay, middle one. Mm -hmm. So, that's kind of two and a half out of five on any other scale. Okay, speak to you soon. Let's watch some news. Excuse me, that's my thinking thought. Okay, it's time to move on. Now, the news today, two bits of news. Uh, the doping scandal continues. Uh, what was it? Nah, I've forgotten the numbers. But Russian, some Russian athletes will have the medals taken off them from Beijing. And there is a meeting, I think, next month where they let Russia in to the, uh, the Rio Olympics. Uh, they've cheated come out because it was state sponsored and the other thing is all about the European referendum that's starting to heat up a little bit now um, all sorts of numbers going around but they're still they're still making it about immigration nobody's actually talking about whether we will be better off or worse off they're just saying it's immigration but it's far more than that so I wish they'd actually start talking about what will cost us Will we go into recession? Won't we have a recession? Will we be able to trade? Won't we be able to trade? And you know, they're all saying that Europe is this, this, we must be part of Europe. But we were in the Commonwealth before we was in the Europe, so in Europe. So we got by pretty well then. But I'm not trying to persuade anybody to vote. That's not my, yeah, uh, it's not my agenda. I'm just saying what the news says. Okay, so are we ready to move on? As you can see, Michelle doesn't care because she's reading. Frankenstein. By Mary Shelley. Mm -hmm. I'm real me author. We'll not go back to the, the other night's author and I'll try not to sing ever again. I do apologise. Shall we get on? Mm -hmm. Wednesday. Halfway through the working week day. Get to lunchtime and we're halfway there. Speak to you shortly. And here we are again on that the car park of Pop Shell. So, what are you going to try and achieve today? Um, staying awake. Staying awake. Oh, it's quite, it's quite tedious, look. See, it wasn't me. I caught it off my shell. Staying awake would be a good start. Okay, so you go and you have an awesome day of work. Thanks. I'll go and have an awesome day of work and we'll come home all happy. Cool. Okay, so speak to you shortly. I've just heard on the radio that Daniel Craig has turned down an offer of £68 million. Pounds. Allegedly, £68 million pounds to play James Bond. I'll do it for 34 What makes what I can't 
understand is if he can turn down a 68 million pound offer, how much has he already been paid? You know, money obviously doesn't matter to somebody like that, so yeah. But 68 million pound, Christ. You know, I, to put it into perspective, our facility, the facility I work at, that would keep us going, that would have meant that we didn't have to pay anybody off from our, our facility. We paid 20% off this year, I think roughly, don't quote me on that figures, but probably about 20% down on our workforce. And that meant, that would have meant that we could have kept them all. Never mind, moving on the world's crew. Okay guys, that's me closer to my work night, or nearly at my work. Oh, it's a car coming, how dirty. Okay, that's me at my work. Rubbish indicators. So, I shall speak to you after the working day is done. Bye. That's us midweek over. I'm on that, and I'm actually at that car park to pick Michelle up. And she's there talking to somebody. I think. No, she isn't. Look who's getting in the car. I thought you was talking to somebody then. No. Mm, you're just looking at that uh, oil rig in there. Yeah, like I was saying, Wednesday, halfway through the working week, plus half a day. Two days to holiday. Ooh. Yes. So, how was your day? Good. Yours? It was okay, apart from dealing with bloody idiots. Ah. And, and Mr. Mr. T being a complete douchebag. So he doesn't, he doesn't qualify as an idiot, no? No, he just... He gives idiots a bad name. No, as a bully. He just qualifies as a bully. He's trying to bully us, but he ain't going to get away with Home? Yes, home. So Alan's made me come outside to check out my Barlotti beans. Look at that. How well they've come on. I think that one might be dead, though. Yeah, I'd say that was probably dead. Uh, we'll see if it comes good. But I've got five. My sage is looking good and my mint's looking good. My uh, horseradish is going great guns. We've got actual strawberries on the strawberry plants. I think we've officially killed off most of the peas, but we've got two and we've got three broad bean plants. My chilies are doing well. Um, what else? Oh! We've got the beginnings of what looks like a shoot from my tumbling toms. See if any more of them come good. My, uh... Rhubarb's not looking great, but my, my herbs are going great. Guns, look at the dill. I'm going to have to cut that back. Then we've got, what's this? Cabbages. Loads of onions. Our courgettes are doing really well. Um, got more tomato plants here. Our okra and our gherkins. I'm a bit disappointed only three of my gherkin seeds came good. Um, Alan's cucumber's not looking too healthy, but the beetroot's doing well. So yeah, time in the greenhouse. Do you ever get that feeling that the world is against you? You know, when your internet stops working, like that, and error occurred loading this content don't they realize that we're so reliant on the internet nowadays you know it's just conspiracy theory in it i reckon it's the koreans turning it off again anyway uh quarter to nine now i think it's getting close to my bedtime anyway so what i'm gonna do is call it for the night and then go and do a little bit of editing uh, to get myself ahead of the game for tomorrow.
So, uh, as I said, on Friday, I'm going to travel down to the Lake District. So, I don't know when I'll be able to get a vlog up again, but I'll try, we'll try and do a little bit of a one-take thing. Sorry, I got distracted then. I thought the internet had started, but what actually happened is the screensavers came on. Yeah, so Friday we're travelling down, so I'll put a vlog up tomorrow. Uh, I don't know when I'll be able to get a Friday's vlog up, but we'll see. Try and do a one-take vlog on the way down, yeah? And try that one out, make sure we've got all our phones charged up. So, for this evening, I'm going to say a good night from me. And it's a good night from him. Good night. See you tomorrow. Friday Eve. <laughs>